Hi everyone, welcome back to Pretty Pastel Pastries. My name is Giselle. Today I have for you guys another Valentine's Day box. So today we have three boxes we're going to use. Our first box is from Amazon. Then we have this one from Dollar Tree. And right over here I have our clear top box. I can't wait to show you guys what this is all going to end up looking like. Now let's go ahead and hop onto the tools and supplies. So we're first going to start off with my favorite candy melts of all time guys. This one is from the brand Ghirardelli. They carry these only at Sam's Club. This is a 30 ounce bag. And they also carry this in dark chocolate as well. Next up I have this OXO silicone cup. I love to use this one for melting all of my chocolate. They also carry a 3 pack which I highly recommend. Next up we're going to use these mini heart sprinkles. This one is from the brand Choco Maker. And they're like cute little hearts and they have like a little bit of shimmer to them. Next up we're going to use these right here. Now these are from the brand Wilton. They did come like in a little sealed package but I just placed them in this small little container. Next up we're going to use this diamond dust. This one is their white diamond and their diamond dust is 100% edible guys. I highly recommend them. The sugar has amazing products. Next up we're going to use this color mill in the color blush. This is a candy coloring guys. Now remember, candy coloring is specifically for chocolate. You don't want to use a gel or liquid base. That will definitely ruin your chocolate and you do not want that to happen. We're going to use these small cupcake liners. These are from the brand Wilton and I like that they're really sturdy. So these are great. Next up, we're going to use a small little fluffy brush. We have here our toothpicks. Right here I have my pre-washed strawberries. I have already washed them and dried them up. They're nice and dry. We're also going to use a small spatula, a silicone mat. You can also use wax or parchment paper. We're going to need small unsalted mini pretzels, or you guys can also use salted pretzels. Totally up to you. Now this is totally optional. You do not need to use this, but I will be using a wine today. This one is the mini size, and I'm going to use this for my clear top box today. And lastly, some piping bags. Now I showed you guys these in my last video. These piping bags are really good. They are burst proof, so they're not gonna like burst on you while you're piping and everything. So I highly recommend those. Now if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on that post notification to notify you when I upload. All right guys, let's hop right into the video. So our first step is going to be melting our candy melts in our microwave for 30 second intervals. So this is right out of the microwave after the first 30 seconds and as you guys can see there is some melting happening here at the bottom. Now we're just going to grab our spatula and give this a really good mix. You want to ensure that heat distributes evenly and if you don't mix and you just let this you know be in the microwave, a lot of the candy melts are going to start melting and you know you're not going to tell because you haven't mixed it yet. So you always have to stop after 30 seconds and give this a really good mix. And now we can see that some of the candy melts are melting here at the bottom. And I'm also going to add in more chocolate. So let me go ahead and add in more. So another tip if you're adding in new chocolate, you want to make sure that incorporates with the chocolate that's already melted. So just try your best to move this all around. Now that it's nice and mixed, we're going to place this into the microwave for another 30 seconds. You're going to stop and give it another mix and so on until it's nice and melted. So now that we have our candy melts melted, I'm going to go ahead and give this a really good mix. Now I'm going to add about 10 drops and we'll go from there. So I added in total 30 drops and I achieved this really beautiful blush pink color. And this color is exactly as what you see on the packaging. So that's a plus, that's awesome. So now we're gonna get ready to dip. So I'm just gonna set the spatula aside. Now from here we're gonna start dipping our strawberry and it is really easy. We're gonna grab our strawberry and our toothpick. Now you wanna ensure your toothpick is on the left or the right hand side right here of the little stem. You're gonna pick up all of the leaves. Now from here we're just going to dip it in our chocolate and just make sure it goes up to here. 
so we'll go ahead and do that and you can bring it as high as you would like it's up to you then we're just gonna bring it up and shake off the excess once we have some of our chocolate off we're gonna bring it up and you're gonna shake it off just a little bit and we should be left with this Now we're gonna place this over here on our silicone mat. Now let's go ahead and do this to all of our berries and we'll be right back. Now that we're done with all of our strawberries, we're going to hop onto our mini pretzels. Now when you're choosing your pretzels, you want to avoid the ones that look like this. Just because that doesn't look really nice in your box and we'd rather get something more uniform and, you know, really good. So now from here, we're just going to dip it into our chocolate and I'm going to hold it from one corner and we're going to dip it like up to here. So let's go ahead and do that. Just gonna dip it inside and you're gonna lift it up and shake off the excess. Now once we're done with that, we're gonna grab a toothpick and you're just gonna pierce the middle. Now we're just gonna place this right over here on our mat. And we'll let that one set at room temperature as well. Now we're gonna start drizzling, so I'm gonna cut a small tip right here on my piping bag. You don't want it too big. So we'll do about that much. And I would always recommend you guys test this out and see if you guys like the thickness of your piping bag. So, um, this is too small, I'm going to cut it up just a little bit bigger. And I always recommend you guys pinch the bottom so you guys can see um, where you guys are cutting. So again, I'm going to test it. Okay, I like this better. So now we're just going to grab a strawberry. And I like starting from the bottom and going upwards. So we're just going to squeeze and go all the way up. So never stop squeezing and then just go up. Now from here you quickly want to grab your sprinkles. I'm going to add some of these little hearts and just sprinkle some all around. So these are just going to be our easy berries so you can decorate them however you would like with a lot of sprinkles or no sprinkles. So to our next berry, we're gonna do the same drizzle and we're gonna add some of these little sprinkles right here.
So now that we're done drizzling, now we're gonna go ahead and move on to our pretzels. And we're just gonna do the same concept and just drizzle this way. And we're gonna add a little bit of sprinkles as well. So let's um, just separate them off a little bit. I don't want them too close together. About that much is fine. And I'm just gonna drizzle the whole thing. So I'm just gonna start off from one corner and just drizzle down. And just add some sprinkles. And I'm gonna do this to the rest of them and we'll be right back. So we're almost done with our decoration. I'm just gonna go ahead and now use my white diamond dust. I'm gonna add a little bit to my silicone mat. Now I'm gonna grab my small little brush. I'm gonna pack it on there just a little bit. And I'm just gonna press it on here onto my strawberry. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like with the sparkle we added and it just looks really gorgeous and it just elevated all of our strawberry to that extra level without having to work so hard so I highly recommend their diamond dust collection and I'll also show you guys the mini pretzels we made and this is how it looks like with the diamond dust so now I'm just gonna place all of my strawberries in our cupcake liners and then I'll show you guys what to do with our pretzels. Now lastly to my pretzels, I'm gonna grab them in like stacks of three. So one after another. And I'm just gonna place them individually in our cupcake liner, like this. And just make sure they're center. So from here, we're gonna hop onto our first decoration. We're gonna use our clear top box. And from here, I'm gonna grab my wine and I'm just gonna place it, you can place it on the left or the right hand side. I'm gonna do the left hand side today. Now I'm gonna add in my four berries. And now to our pretzels, I'm gonna go ahead and try to fit both of them all together just so that they don't like go all around when you're giving this box away. So here we have option number one and you guys can also opt out of the wine and you can also use a sparkling wine as well um, but if you guys were to like scoot over the berries you guys are able to also fit six berries on the side as well as your pretzels now let's go ahead and hop onto box number two now this box right here i did purchase off of amazon it does not come with this little bear um, but it does come with some confetti here at the bottom but I'm actually going to choose this one out and I'm going to opt for the other one that I had in my other box. So I'm just going to add this confetti here at the bottom. You can also choose to do white. Um, but I think this pink really like looks really nice with all of our decoration over here. So we're just going to flatten this out. Okay. 
Okay, so now let's go ahead and add in our berries. And you can also choose to put in the wine. I'm actually gonna add in the wine so you guys can see what it looks like. So I'm gonna place this wine here in the middle and our berries on the right hand side. So for this option, I went ahead and added my three berries on the right hand side. And on the left, you can put more berries or cover the whole thing with berries. But I'm gonna add this cute little bear. I got this one from Amazon as well. I'm just gonna fit her in there. That is also really pretty. And you can also fit some of these pretzels right here in the top and the bottom of the bear. So it's gonna end up looking like this. That looks really pretty in my opinion. I just love all the pops of pink that it has. And you guys can just close this up and make a really cute bow on there. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to do that. So this is what the outside of our box looks like and I just went ahead and tied the bow that it already came with and this box is really good and sturdy. I love the quality. Now let's go ahead and check out the inside. And we just get a whole bunch of pops of pink and it just looks really nice. Now let's go ahead and hop on to box number three. Now lastly, this box is from Dollar Tree. They have a lot of different variations but I just love the pink in this one, so that's why I chose this one today. And I have already fitted it with some confetti. Now this confetti is from Target. It is from the brand Spritz. And I'm just gonna add a couple berries in there and some of our pretzels. So this is what it looks like with their strawberries and pretzels in there. That is really cute. And I'll put the little lid on there so you guys can see. And overall, this is a really cute gift too. And super inexpensive. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like with all of the berries. So in this small little box, I was able to fit five berries. And you can actually fit these little pretzels right here at the bottom. So we could just leave those in there slanted. So this is the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching. And let me know down below which box was your favorite. Was it box number one, two, or three? I think my personal favorite has to be box number two. Now, if you guys end up recreating anything I did in this video, feel free to tag me at Pretty Pastel Pastries using the hashtag Pretty Pastel Pastries. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, have a lovely day!